Hi friends! Welcome to yet another fun-filled and exciting episode of your favorite show, My Zone Active Kids, where we actively invest in your future. Whose future? Your future. I am your lovely active kids friend Rita and I'm joined by my also lovely active kids friend from the south Aurelia or Rizzi Brizzi mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. so speaking about friends from the south today's topic is quite um, interesting because we are talking about different ways to make friends so how can you make friends what is the first trick to making a friend Yo. Is it now for primary, secondary? Uh, let's say primary. How can our friends make friends? Yeah. You know, we always we always do make friends in funny ways. Uh huh. So I would not really tell our friends out there to maybe go to someone and say hi. Can I, I be, be your friend? friend? That's no. what happens, especially uh, no. primary school. Like I remember how I made my first friend primary. Primary school time was. Like we were waiting for our transport. Uh -huh. So outside the schoolyard, next to the fence, I always sit on my back and then wait for, for, for my transport to come. So while I was there seated, you know, always there's always a one dollar for ice because it's hot and mommy always makes sure that take this one dollar while you're waiting for your taxi or transport. So I was busy eating my eyes and you know she was crying. I was like, me also we both are in the same grade but you know some of us we are just maybe a bit strong or i don't know so me asking her why she's crying whether i should give her juice or something that's actually how we made friends that's how you became a friend that's how we became friends because after i asked her why she's crying she told me why she's crying what 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 so i gave her like do you want juice or should i buy your eyes she's like no she's okay she's just waiting for the taxi and what what, what. so People uh, make friends in funny ways. You, I feel like going to someone and ask, can I be your friend is to... The simplest way possible. I think that's what I did when I was in kindergarten. I was like, can I be your friend? Mm -hmm. Or like I would make sure I bring nice food. So then, then make me cosplay up than syndicalist, oh, and you know, and then they'll be like, that is nice baloney, and then we would eat together. Yeah, no, usually was, it was just a relationship of rip off, but you know, I, I was always I was a quiet girl to be honest. So you, I was really quiet. I was quiet to till a certain grade, so to say. So every time after school, I would just sit there under the tree, maybe wait for transport or so forth. So people will always come to me and start talking to me. And then the next day, you will just see the girl that spoke to me yesterday run towards me. And then we'll just start our conversation on our way to class. So. Okay, so overall, let's, let's, let's sum it up quick, quick. How, what is the best way, in your opinion, to make a friend? Do you, you said you don't approach. Okay, no, so I don't approach. Okay, so how? <laughs> I don't would approach. You? Just be you. <laughs> the person that wants how to be you? your friend will actually come to you. That's what I feel. The universe is there to, to talk or speak. Or okay, that, that only works when you are an adult, I guess. But no. if we are talking about our friends, I think you should approach someone and just be like, Hi, can I be your friend? My name is Rita. I like coloring um, books and I like singing in the shower. And I... It's too much even for them to do. Yeah, remember. and I visit Even the just toilet. give them a lollipop a sweet. Or, or you can or share your sweet. eyes or just something. Yes. That's the fastest way you can make friends. Well, now that we have that out of the way, don't forget to tune in every day on DSTV channel 285 and on GoTV channel 25. Don't forget we are on the socials. We are on Instagram, YouTube, and as well as Facebook. But now that we reminded our friends, we need to sing a little song. No, we'll sing the song in the next segment because I have a small surprise. So let's head on to Arts and Crafts. Hi friends, welcome to Arts and Crafts with your favorite friend, Rita. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a bow. So firstly, what you're going to do is you're going to draw the bow. I think Aurelia took my pencil. So you just draw the bow 
on your paper like this. Then you will cut it out just okay. Then you cut it out I'll just use the shape to also draw on this one. But this one is smaller. Uh. So once you have that, and then let me just so you uh, okay. Let's try for this time. Sorry, nature man. We'll cut this one smooth. Same same thing, you cut the side, you turn it over, you cut the side, then you join. there you have it guys you have a big bow and a small bow and that's how you create a bow and you can place it on a letter you can place it on top of your letter or anything that you would like there you have it guys from arts and crafts with rita i'll see you tomorrow friends bye We are back from Arts and Crafts and once again our girl Orizi Breezy proves that she has not learned anything even this far along in the year. I thought you were getting better but clearly it's, um, not. it's, it's, it's what I told Marie yesterday. For me, uh, um, my friend should not expect any <laughs> nice things because I am already in December. But Maria is like, we're only in the second. I was like, you guys are in the second week of November, but I'm already in the third week of November. Okay, so now so that you are in December, tell yes. us what you are going to do in December. What are your plans? I'm actually planning to go visit my friend. Um, Who's in, your other friend? How many friends do you have? In Swakop. Oh. Like, we school together, we stayed in the hostel together. Mm -hmm. So she's like, I should go visit her in Swakop. So I'll be, I'll be going to Swakop. Uh -huh. And this other friend of mine also told me I should be the first <laughs> Nama girl to go take a picture at the Oshokati uh, um, frame thing. Oh! So <laughs> I am really very excited to really go to the north because it will also be my first time. It's and your first I, And I really, really, really am more excited than the people. What are you excited that about? Are heading to the north. What are you excited about? It's it's my first time. <laughs> and whenever you hear people come from the north, you just hear how nice the people are, the atmosphere, the vibe. 
So okay. What are I'm you already most feeling the vibe <laughs> while I'm not there. What are you most excited about? <laughs> to see, like, what are you hoping to see that you hear people are doing, but then you do it see so you're going to see it for the first yes, time. What do you want I'm to see? I'm going to see um, just how the friendly, houses, houses how, made no, how with friendly sticks. the people are. Not really the houses. How friendly the people are. You know, it's been a while since I really ate a proper mahangu meal as well. Uh, okay. See how they slaughtered the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really very excited. You guys will not understand because... Um, well, it seems like I'll, your December is well planned out. It's not really well planned out, but what, what makes it well planned out is the part of the night. It's, it. so it's hot. I, it's extremely hot. You know, when it's December, we don't feel the heat uh, because it's just enjoyment. You're having fun with friends and family. And then if I come back January, I'll be speaking to my friends in Oshuamba. Aye. <laughs> so, yes. Because then, I then forgot then Let's make words. a bet today. On this day, um, Aurelia promised to come back on Active Kids and sing us a song in Oshuamba that she learned. <laughs> I will do that <laughs> with my, I will sing it with my full chest. I will, I hmm? will, I will, I will keep Just remind me January, friends. January, even if we don't remember, just send the inbox or just leave a comment below mm -hmm. and I will sing the song because I will definitely go sit next to a granny and tell her to sing a song for me. Oh. I don't okay. know, what are your plans for the December since I told you mine? My plans are very typical of a Vambu young lady. Mm -hmm. Um, I am heading to the north also because there's a bridal shower and then I think there's a housewarming. So we're going to eat a lot of chicken and goat and, and uh, no cows is for weddings. Uh, goats and chicken. So now, uh, mm. um, if it's, oh, bri you say bridal shower. Yeah, bridal so shower. So will not be engagement, engagement party. I don't think, I don't know how that works in our tribe because after the bridal shower it's the engagement i guess engagement engagement Engage but engagement. no that's the stuff for the westerners as we are the southern the northerners yeah so now you're what the part of the, we are the southerners yes. but uh, the bridal shower always happens before the engagement or wedding what engagement party are you talking about oh yeah maybe confused yeah but no we don't have that we only have the bridal shower Obviously, which is the funny thingy, mm -hmm. and then the wedding. Yeah. Oh, no, engagement becomes before. Yeah, duh. Yeah. Engagement, bridal shower, and then wedding. Oh, sorry, friends. Mm. I got it wrong. And then apart from that, um, I'm also going to a herero wedding. I'm going to ex to experience the culture, the cultural differences. I want to see that. I'm not going there to compare, but I'm also going to see how different they celebrate weddings compared to the Vambu tradition, the Oshuambo tradition. No, oh, are you invited? Or? Yeah, no. I'm just going there because oh, it's a wedding. Must be Anyways, nice. guys, uh, there we had a little short story before we get carried away. I actually want us to head on to Zoe and Zeki so we can find out how exactly it is you can make our little friends can make little friends. So let's head on to Zoe, Zoe and Zeki. Zeki. Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Zoe. Hello, friends. My name is Zaki. And, and we, we are niece and nephew. Welcome back to your favorite show, friends. With your favorite friends, Zoe and Zaki. Well, today we are talking about how you can cultivate a relationship like Zoe and mine when you want to make new friends. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. Making new friends can be easier if children are prepared ahead of time with ideas for interacting with others. Here are some activities to help our dearest friends make new friends. Number one, learn a joke. Jokes are a fun way to ease up the tension. Even small children might enjoy saying, do you know any jokes? And then sharing one or two with a new friend. Number two, 
practice introduce <coughs> number two practice introduction and ask questions help your child make believe that they are meeting a new friend by using a puppet encourage your child to find out more about the puppets by asking them their names their favorite games their favorite foods favorite color and so on this will help your child realize that questions are a way to find things in a common with someone new number three smile look in the mirror to see what you look like when you are smiling doesn't that look inviting Help your child practice smiling and let them know how this is a great way to invite someone into conversation. Number four, look for what other children are interested in. Show your child that sometimes you can find clues about what someone likes by what they are wearing or doing. For example, if a person has a dinosaur bag or always goes straight to the puzzles, you may like to begin a conversation about one of the topics they are wearing or doing. Number five, write a list of simple games. Sometimes children can be anxious about what they will play with other kids. They usually ask, what will we do? Take a piece of paper and make a list of five or more games that your child would like to play with someone else. Well, there you have it, friends. Now we've come to the end. I really hope you guys implement some of these tips so that you can make lasting, fun friendships. But before we go, let's sing a song. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse went down, and hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse went down, and hickory dickory dock. So, Zaki, please share today's fun fact with us. Well, friends, did you know that animals form friendships too? Wow, that's it for today, friends. Now, now it's time, time for us to go and take a nap. See you tomorrow, friends. Bye. So you guys know that I don't like a lot of chit chat, especially after Zoe and Zeki because I always, always want to get straight on to active activity to prove to you guys that I am the winner that I think I am. So today we are going to play animal riddles and I want the loser of the previous game to start first. I was never the loser, hey? Now why did you respond? Because I'm just letting, I'm just reminding you about who is always the winner. Okay, let the winner start. <coughs> let me begin. Let me begin. So the first riddle mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. you might, you might be called this animal if someone thinks that you're afraid. This is something that you might eat, as well as it eggs, as, as well as its eggs when it's laid. Which animal am I? You are what? Oh. I was, I was trying to nee, put nee, it nee, together. Nee. You might be called this animal if someone thinks you are afraid. A pig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if someone is like, Brad, chase a fark, it's a fun chase bark. Fark is most bark. No, you only have one last opportunity. You might be called this animal if someone thinks you are afraid. I just know about it. Bro. Come on now. Come on now. You also eat this. <laughs> because you can also eat its egg most. No, it's a chicken. Yeah, Someone is like, oh, geez, a cheeky chick. Oh. You're a chicken. But it didn't say female, Rita. Oh. 
Oh, sorry. So. Okay, on to the next. Okay. I'm the only. I was not re that one. Okay, sorry. I jump when I walk. I sit when I stand. <laughs> I know you'll know this one. <laughs> A kangaroo. <laughs> obviously, that's why. <laughs> no, it just okay. It's fine. Okay, it's so obvious. No, it's not. Um, ah yeah, this one is also very obvious. I feel like riddles for animals are. Okay, no, this one is not obvious. This is oh uh, no nope nope. That's what I'm doing. Um, be. I have four legs but no tail. Usually, I am heard only at night. What am I? An owl. Nope. An owl has four legs. <laughs> A mosquito. A mosquito. Mm. No. <laughs> I know, at least tell me what species is No, it? I have four legs, but no tail. And you can only hear me at night. Mosquito, mosquito. <laughs> Fly. A fly does must not have a tail. They begin weer. It's a frog, babes. A frog. Heard. Yeah, you can oh. only hear me at night. He, he, did you say heard or hear? I am um, only heard at night. What is I, the difference the, uh, if the heard, concept is the same? Heard mm. like seer mag. Near. That's why I say mosquito fly. Oh, sorry. Okay. Was I supposed to say you can only be heard at night? Okay. okay. The alphabet goes from A to Z, but I go to Z. A B? Z to A. A B? No. The alphabet goes from A to Z, but I only go from Z to A. Yeah? La 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 la. A horse. No man. No man. A, no, a dinosaur. This is the last time <laughs> okay. I'm going to read it. And then if you get it wrong, then I'll give you the answer. The alphabet goes from A to Z. But I go Z to A. What am I? Yo, it's backwards. A mosquito? I am a zebra. I go from Z to A to A. Eh, me, me, a zebra. Rita, zebra. Oh, my words. Okay, so, okay. yeah, I think it's enough. Huh? For today. Who's the winner then? It's me. There's actually no winner because. Okay, wait, Lon. Uh, no. Okay, but yeah. These ones are very easy. They are very easy, hey? You will know what is this thing. Okay, let me let me give you one last one. I am the biggest reptile in the water and have a shoe named after me. Who am I? <laughs> peacock. <laughs> a peacock is a bird. Reptile in the water and I have a shoe named after me. <laughs> Dolphin. No. A uh, dolphin is a mammal. Give me the reptile, uh, reptile's name in the sea. Then. It's not in the sea, it's in the water. Oh, in the water. In the water. Uh, I and am. It's, it's named after. I, and I have shoes named after me. Come on now. Yeah. Crocs, crocodile. <laughs> Cross, it's true, it's true, it's true. Ooh. What a shame. Yeah, no. What yeah. a shame. I thought that they were very just. But hey, you guys saw that I got kicked out by Rita. Well, I will let her win for today, but. No, I don't want to be the winner because it was not a, it's not something worth fighting. Yeah. Today was. Neutral. Cr neutral, yes. We're cruising. We're cruising today. Cruising on our way to the north.
So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that unfortunately has come to an end. Today's episode was definitely fun, simple, and sweet. I really hope you guys learned a thing or two. I hope you guys had fun. But unfortunately, it's time for us to head home. But don't fear when Rita and Orizzi are here. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same, same place. place. But from us, it's bye.